Barnet 2, Torquay 1 into the quarterfinals. I'm joined here by manager Dean Brennan. Dean, your thoughts on that performance? Pretty. Um, backs against the wall. They asked a lot of questions of us. They're very difficult to play against. Um, and they've been in flying form. I watched them last week against Notts County. Uh, I thought they played really well, deserved something out of the game. They went to Woke and got a result there. So for us to come here and win is a, is a real good achievement. Uh, I think they won three on the bounce before the Woken game as well. So Gary's teams are always organised, hard to play against. And uh, I thought a response to the equaliser was outstanding. It was a great way to respond. Um, and it wasn't really a nasty game or anything, but I thought the referee made a lot of bookings and that really. There was no real bad challenges. I didn't think he managed the game particularly well. And I quite like Scott. I know he's coming out in Liverpool. He sort of done a similar route to me, coming from a couple of levels below and then walking his way up, but he just didn't manage the game well enough, uh, which, which made us make subs with Woods at half-time and stuff like that. So, um, And he's warning our captain that if he makes another challenge, he's going to send them off. What's that all about? So, yeah, poor management by the referee. Uh, they were on about time wasting and stuff like that, but I didn't see that personally. Um, and I think he just lost control, really. The home crowd got on his back a little bit and he added seven minutes in the second half. He had a five in the first half. So, look, it was what it was. I'm not going to blame him. We're into the next round and we're delighted. You mentioned about making that change at half-time forwards. Was that down to because he had a yellow card? Because the referee told their management team, told Dale Gorman, a captain, that one more from Woods and he'd be off. They were the Woods. So, so for me, I can't take that risk. It was a great start, though, for the Bees. Two minutes on the clock, Harry Smith getting his second for the Bees. A great start for us. Yeah, look, great goal. Uh, good header. He's a good player, he's a top player, so um, we're delighted to have him with us. Um, so yeah, brilliant start. We didn't capitalise on it. I didn't like how they went and hit the crossbar straight away after. Just a little bit naive at times. We've got a lot of injuries at the minute, so um, it's frustrating. And he also touched on it before. They, they equalised in the second half and three minutes later get back into the lead. Yeah, that's a sign of a good team. That's character, that's togetherness. We've built that. That's You, you create that. That doesn't just happen overnight. That comes from people's personalities. Um, Beardy did well for a great cross. Great second ball by Pritchard. Fed it wide and what a header that is. That's Noel Quinn S that is. That was a brilliant header. Um, yeah, and then we had other chances really to go three up. We didn't really take them. I thought we saw the game out well in the end. Um, so yeah, look, they turned the kitchen sink for us. They gave it their all. But we managed to uh, see it out, which is pleasing. We're having a great league campaign this year, but the FA Trophy into the quarterfinals now. It's been a great cup run. Yeah, on to listen, the next game for me. It's great to get into the next round. We look forward to the draw on Monday, but the next my focus now is on Notts County. Um, and getting some of our players back fit, our key players, Danny Collins, Ben Winter. We'll see how they are over the next 24 hours. So they're massive players for us. Uh, and we need them fit. You know, we might even have to go recruit this week, if I'm being totally honest with you. Um, so we, can, we need to strengthen the squad. It's a key moment in the season and we just picked up injuries at the, at the wrong time. What sort of positions are you looking to recruit? Well, send half, obviously. There's no Ben Winter. Uh, there's no Danny Collins. So we'll just see how they are. Like I said, we're blessed with the facilities we've got at the Hive and the medical care we have with Tick Health. So that's that's huge for us. But um, it's not ideal. They've played every minute of every game for us, them two. That's the key players for us. So we're going to have to try recruiting that department if they're not right. And finally, again, the fans come down here to support. They were fantastic today. Yeah, brilliant. Got right behind us. Not the prettiest game to watch, but if I'm being honest, the Cup's just all about the result. And uh, the result went their way, so they go home and look forward to the draw on Monday. I hope they get back safe from the travels. Um, I'm absolutely delighted. I love this competition. I think it's underestimated sometimes by some of the bigger, bigger clubs. I think we're the highest ranked club left in, in the competition, so hopefully we can get a home draw. This is our fourth game away in the bounce. That's correct, yeah, and I think we've won them all, so that's not bad. Um, that's not bad at all. But like I say, we move on to the next. The next one's a huge game for us, um, and we're gonna, it's going to be. It'll be a big ask. They're a top team, well coached, organised excellently, and uh, it'll be a difficult game. But we're looking forward to it. Dean, congratulations and thank you for your time. Cheers.